everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stock Swish and I'm reviewing Disney. What a nice pop in this today. And I was expecting this to go higher uh, for the last couple of days. Actually, I thought last week it might have this pop. So it took a little bit longer. Um, here's what it did. So here was the huge, massive bar that it had at 11.13. Actually, let's go back to here. This was 11.8. Actually, just look here this whole year. <clears throat> So Disney broke out in April. This was such a nice call. In fact, I called this before it broke out. There was a huge trade for everybody in the options letter. Then after that, um, flew, flew like the Dickens straight up. So then this high here in April, was the end of April, was 142.37. I said, I, I think it was an Ameritrade. I'm like 150, 150 for Disney. Here it got close, very, 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 very close in July, 147.15. Then this was the next earnings here. Dropped off, didn't really sell off much. I mean, held, held, held. Here was the earnings here. Called the calls, huge trade here, worked. And again, people were in this long on the options letter. On the options newsletter, I called calls in this that were down. The trades were down until they went here, huge. And sometimes that's the way options are. Options can be volatile, meaning you can be up a lot, and that's why you take your profits, or you could be down until it goes. But the nice thing about options is you have a fixed risk. So if you risk $1,000, that's it. And it has nothing to do with the cost of the actual stock. It has to do with the cost of the options. So if you pay a dollar, then, it, then it's a dollar per contract, or $2 if it costs $2 per contract, whatever. Anyways, then I called these, and here I called the 150 calls. And I called them out till next week, and this ran up today. I mean, this gapped up this morning and opened at 151.75. You could have got out of this here yesterday, actually, with a little bit of a profit. This was a good profit here going into holiday week. Boom. Seeing this here today, I'm like, gosh, I should have called the ones out for this Friday. But just to be safe, I called them out to next week. But this was a beautiful trade. Over 100% return investment in a matter of two days. So really nice trade. Um, so Disney... I mean, again, holiday week, we'll see where this goes, but I love the fact that this had the nice flush and a great pop. And I mean, theoretically, people could still be in this. Could this still be higher right now? But I mean, this had such a nice move going into holiday you know, period here with the market closed Thursday and a half day Friday. I just think it was a good idea to take the profits today because this was a nice big move right like that. And if you join the options newsletter, the best thing for you to do is to make sure that you book money, especially, you know, 50% is good, 30% is good, 100% or more is good. This was like, I don't know, one, one, close to 150% even, 140, I don't remember exactly. Like this was a really good return investment and it was pretty quick. So when you have a move like that, 24, 48 hours, you gotta take the profits, you know, but this, this could continue right here, so we'll see. Nice bullish call in Disney. Again, I called the 150 calls. Beautiful move. Have a great day, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. If you'd like to sign up for the options newsletter, email me, Melissa, at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day.